Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Priming, and welcome back to another Township Tale. So last night, I tried to tell you guys that I wanted to go after some copper. We didn't get the chance. Lucas hung out with us. We just, I don't know. We just didn't do it. So tonight, I have cooked up a bunch of chicken right there. I got 17 chickens. Uh, I clicked to some other things, but I'm going to get rid of these, put them over here in our, our little mold, and uh, yeah. We're gonna go get a lot of copper. So, come on. I don't know. Does that, does that follow me? Here, let's go. Okay, so, before I do anything, uh, I need to put away all my stuff. So, we don't need Easter eggs. Let's go ahead and throw those in there. And I'm not going to need a bow, so here, I'll just lay this one on top. Somebody can come grab that if you want. Um, oh, we still have a mold. Oh, dang it. Um, hmm. Weapons, weapons, weapons. That one's full. Uh, there's a spot. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe. Oh, no. Hmm. Aha, got it. There we go. So, I don't know if we have all the molds yet, but we have many. Now, what else does that leave me? I got chicken. Oh, arrows. You guys are going to some arrows. So, um, toss. There you go. Bows and arrows right there. Now, I'm not actually going to head down into the caves. Well, actually, we might head down into the caves. I don't know. I still need to build a bridge over here. Heading back up to the top of this mountain. By the way, for those of you watching right now, I've actually uh, traveled around a little bit, collecting up some of the uh, the chicken, just so I'd have enough food for going down in there. Which, by the way, probably time for me to have a little snack. Mm, perfect. Bone. Now, what I'd like for you guys to do, every time you come in here, check these, okay? And if you see that it's full of stuff, right? Take it and just chuck it out over here. Because the uh, the chest will regenerate. And if you're emptying all this stuff out, you can always take it to... Thank you. Is that a little cup? Oh. If I had two, I could be a horse. Just kidding. Okay. There we go. And now that it's empty, this is going to refill in about like an hour, maybe two hours. I don't remember the time length, but it will refill and all this stuff will still be here. So if you take it and you throw it back in, and combine it all together, pull it back out, basically just keep doing that over and over, it will generate a lot of stuff. Scooch forward. I'm just cleaning up some vines real quick. We uh, didn't clear this all the way out last time. And I'd like for it to be nice and clean for when you guys come down and... Oh gosh, I can't reach that one. I'm gonna hit my fan. Oh. oh. I don't want to stick my hands on my fan. Uh, okay, maybe over here. Oh. I can't reach it. Okay. Well, that's good enough for now. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Got some of that stuff too. Oh, got stuck. Woohoo. You know what I think would be really cool? On Friday nights, we get a whole bunch of us together and we'll come in here and have a campfire and just sit down and discuss. We'll just talk. I think that would be the coolest. There's another one of those sticks. Toss that right there. Don't need a sword at the moment. It's a bunch of little twigs. Is that stuff dropping down below? Oh yeah, it's falling through. 
That's weird. Okay. Well, should we head down? I don't know. There's a much safer area upstairs. Just saying. Yeah, let's do it. Now, I've had a couple of people complaining that the game sound is too loud. I think it might just be because I'm not talking loud enough. What's crazy about the mine is it's really not that dangerous, but it's dark. So it gives you this feeling of like loneliness, just being alone down here. got that mold or not. Some flint. More arrows. Probably should have brought my bow with me. Now. Was there anything to make a, a torch? No? Maybe not. Maybe I'll leave one of these here. I'll grab a piece of that flint. fire again because if this goes out it gets dark real quick that iron? No, that is coal. Don't need some no coal. Maybe when I get a lantern, then I'll need some coal. Arrows, flint. Ooh. That sandstone? I think that's sandstone. That's some coal. Can we hit this regular stone? We can hit this though. And we can hit that. But that's not what we're looking for. We are hunting for copper. So let's start looking for. Wait, is that copper? That is not copper. Ooh, shiny. There we go. That's the stuff we're looking for. Should we be collecting the stone as well, do you think? Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. Can I see that? Just on the other side here. I don't know if that's going to produce anything. No, it was too far back. Can I put that in my belt? No, too big.
So if you'll notice what I just did, I grabbed a piece of grass that I found over there. I lit that on fire so I can put my, uh, my torch away and still work. I don't think any came out on that one. I don't think there's anybody on this level. I think he's down one level, so we should be okay. By the way, the rock creatures are called Turabatas. And those we are going to try and avoid. Because we don't have any weapons. Uh, we could kill them with our pickaxe, which is preferable because they're made out of rocks, but all right, let's just follow it on around to the left. I'm going to grab this, that way I'll have it for the next spot. Oh, I should have brought a shovel. Hello. Anything up here? Any sticks? Oh, there's leather. Okay. I will grab leather. Oh. And the reason we want to grab leather is because of the uh, leather backpacks. Those are hard to come by. Well, actually, I don't think it's going to be hard because we're in the uh, the PC version. I know it's hard on the Quest version because leather is kind of rare. But, hello. Hey, little guy. Hold on. Run away, dude. Run away, little dude. <laughs> you can eat those if you get hungry. I prefer chicken. Oh, I like that you can see really far in the cave. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Oh, hello. Okay, that leads down to the second level. I'm not ready to go down to the second level yet, so... Let's just keep hanging around out up here, see if we can't find any more copper. Oh, here we go. Should be enough for us to go and create something useful. Hmm. Plus, I just kind of wanted to scare you guys and bring you down here in the uh, the old mines. So, like I said, it's really, really not that hard to get along down here. It's just time consuming. Ooh. Buckles. We'll take those with us as well. And as long as you keep enough light on you, you should be okay. When it starts getting hard is when uh, you have to start fighting worms and bigger curabatas. That's when it starts getting hard because they will kill you really fast. And if you get hit, it slows you down. So be aware, do not get hit. Okay, is that it? Almost got 40 of them, not bad. I can't tell if there's something in that direction or not. There's nothing that way. All right, let's head on around to the side. Should have plenty of coal for our uh, smelter. Oh, more copper. Should I? Yeah, let's get. Let's do it. Oh wait, no. Ooh. Poop.
and real quick, just so you don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry. I'm going to show you what happens in the dark. Okay. So we're going to put out our torch. Now it gets completely dark, but you have these little guys that'll start popping up. Now if we look around. Hi, buddy. Hi, little guy. If you shake them, they'll light up. And they'll give you just enough light that you might be able to get out of here. If I remember right. Yeah. When they explode, they'll catch a little fire and you can start your torch again. Sorry about the cru cruelty to the little guy, but I had to show you what you can do. Oh, there's more copper. But I'm ready to get out of here, so let's go around and find our way back up to the top. And as you can see, there's still plenty of copper down here. If you guys are looking to join, please go to the Discord, look for the join code. Um, it is Code Primate Fans. It is open. It is public. It is the PC version. If you are on Oculus, connect your Oculus to your PC via USB or remote desktop, virtual desktop, whatever it's called. Which, by the way, I bought and it's awesome. Oh my gosh, there is so much copper. Are we just running in circles at this point? This seems a lot bigger than it was a second ago. Huh. Oh wait, is that it? That looks like a staircase upward. So that means the stairs must be right there. Ha ha. Jump up here. There. Oh wait, should I? Oh, I'll leave it down there. It's fine. I was thinking I should grab my other uh, torch, but you guys are gonna need torches. Don't forget to take light with you. doing that. It's one of my favorite things to do. Oh, it's already nighttime. Nighttime is the right time. Hey, look at that. Just like I predicted. Bunch of coins. Bunch of wood. Throw that over there. Actually, wait. Basically, we're just combining everything back up. I'm going to take these coins, though. That's nice. And take it all back up. Look at that. There's already 48... 48 arrows. More than 48. There's a lot of arrows up there. Like I said, don't forget to take all that, throw it back in here, combine it all together, and pull it back out, and you guys should be uh, should be having some awesome chests. <sighs> what is this, Wednesday? Yeah, so you guys should be watching this on Wednesday, and it's been three days, and people are already starting to ask about lumber again. If you, uh, if you were asking about lumber, or if you were one of the people who was asking about lumber, go check out last Friday's video. It's on the channel. I want you guys to understand what's happening, why I'm not inside Lumber Tycoon 2 right now. Okay. 
we are back with our booty. Do we have... We got some leather that we need to go drop off. But right now, we're going to smelt those. 39. And like I said, I don't know if this actually helps or not, but I'm going to do it. Watch, watch, the, uh, watch the window. Pump it up. Pump it up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go faster. Go faster. Go faster. Oh, oh, it's starting to fire up. Once you get it going, it just continuously goes. There she goes. Now I can let go. Woo! It's a bit of a workout. I might use this for some exercise. It's a good game. Hello? I thought I just heard somebody standing right there. There we go. And now we're back at the, uh, the old flame pit. Hold on. Oh, it's already done. Nice. And look at that. We have 14 out of what do we have 30, 39. Whoa, eyeballs. Hello, eyeballs. So we're going to head this direction. And if you look out here, this is actually a, a little storage area for all of these things. Now we've already got 24 copper. I'm going to add 14. We've got a total of 38. Now, if you guys want, you can use those along with uh, some of the molds that are inside the, the blacksmith shop and create yourself some weapons or you can create some tools, do all the th cool things that is available in this game. Come join. Like there's 20. Whoa. Hello? Hello? Whoa, that was weird. I just glitched. There's about uh, there's about 23 people in the server already. And I mean, they are building. That, that machine over there that takes things and breaks them down into their components and gives you back some of the materials for it. Um, just a whole bunch of cool things. I don't know what else to tell you. But that was how to do copper and how to smelt copper. Um, oh, I guess I'll do some weapons some other time, but for now, whoa, come on. Why are you not, what is that? What? Oh, <laughs> did I just take a picture? Okay, I took a picture somehow. That's cool. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Township Tale with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. If you want, you don't have to. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> Outro. Oh, I have to cut. Outro.